everyone, Becca here. I thought today I would try to create a tutorial video for how I've been using the link feature in Zoom Notes in my planner. Uh, I've definitely never created any kind of tutorial videos in the past, so uh, bear with me as I try to figure this out. Um, but hopefully I can show you guys how to use some links if that's what you're trying to look for. Uh, so let me go in here into my 2019 planner that I have been setting up for next year. And I'll go over to January and show you sort of how I've been setting it up. So up in the upper right hand corner, there's this little uh, diamond shape that you can tap on and it will show you the, the layers that you have. Um, I have the same layers for my entire notebook. Um, I know there's an option to create layers for each individual page, but I have been using the same layers for all of my pages. Uh, and the thing that I've found that works best for me is to create this layer at the top. I called it links and you can see right now I have it uh, locked so it can't make any changes and set to not visible. So if I tap on that, you'll see why. Um, I have been setting up my links as these uh, gray circles. Um, and when you create the, the circle, you can actually go ahead and set it to be a transparent object, which I started to do. Uh, but then I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to find them uh, later on down the road if I forgot which ones I had set up or where I had put them. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to find them back if they were transparent. Uh, so what I decided to do was create them in this gray color on this layer. And then after I have them set up the way I like, I just check the, the visible box and turn them off so you can't see them. Uh, they still work. You can still tap in that area and the link will still work. You just don't see the circle anymore. So whenever I need to adjust my links or whenever I'm looking for them, I can just turn this back on and I can easily find them. Um, so I'll show you what I have here. These, so on the left-hand side, uh, the planner already came with the link. If I tap on uh, the 31, it will take me to my weekly spread uh, for that week. And what I added on the right-hand side of these boxes is a button to take me to uh, my food log for that week. Um, and then you can see I've added some links here. If you tap this one in the upper left hand corner, it'll take me to my planner for that week. And if I tap on that corner, it'll take me back to the food log. So I'm going to show you here with the, the 28th down here, how I have been setting up these links. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do, actually, the first thing you do is make sure you're on the right tab. So I will unlock my links tab and set it as my or a layer not tab unlock my links layer and set it as my current layer and hit done and then you're going to want to use uh, your shape tool which over here on the left hand side is this one that looks like an oval if you don't have it you can press and hold and get all your symbols and then tap your oval so then this will open up your shape tool um, I like using the oval and I do border and fill. I don't have a shadow. I've made my border color black. Oh, wait, Oops. sorry about that. Um, I set my border color black and then I'll go down here to the fill color and I've set them to black. And I've been putting my opacity at about 50%. And again, it doesn't really matter since I turned the layer off, but, and this is where you could also, um, you could take your opacity all the way down to zero if you wanted to make your shape transparent. So once I have all those settings, I can come over here and just draw my circle. And kind of size it to match my other circles. And I'll put it here on my date. So now that I have my circle, if you go back to the oval to your shape tool, while it's highlighted, you'll notice there's a section down here where you'll see the word not linked. And by default, I think it always picks bookmark. So I will change it to page and then I will tap on the word not linked and it will take me to an outline of my planner. And they're kind of hard to see, but you just have to scroll through and find the page you want it to go to. So I want it to go to 
my last week of January food log, which I know is going to be the last thing I have in this category, so it's going to be this one. And then hit done. And then I change it to direct instead of animated. And that should be good. So we'll close that. Tap off of the shape tool. Actually, I need to move it just a tad. And now, if I tap on that link, it'll take me to the 28th. And you'll see I already have this one set up to take me to my weekly page and back to my food log. So now I have that link working and then I would just go up to my upper right hand corner again and hit the diamond. I like to keep my layers locked so that I don't accidentally mess them up unless I'm actively working on setting up links for that month. So I would change my layer back to writing and I would lock my links layer again and uncheck visible so you can't see them. But then you'll see if I tap in this corner that we just did, it'll still take me to my page and all of my links still work even though that layer is not visible. Um, so sorry, this video is probably pretty amateurish, but hopefully that helps anybody who is trying to figure out how to create links in their planner. Bye guys.